Hey guys, welcome back to week... Was it six? I believe so, yeah. Let's, uh... See what they got going on now. Your efforts to acquire the submine data have been proven effective. My reconstruction continues apace. This is not the first time the Hive have sought to steal my weaponry. I froze an entire brood on Mars to stop their last attempt. Despite their persistence, they have never once succeeded. In no small part thanks to the Vanguard. This time will prove no different. My diagnostics indicate that we nearly have enough data to complete the repair cycle. Once the Warsats are under our control, I will lay waste to the Wrathborn. If they so desire to witness the power of a war mine, then I will gladly oblige. Mm -hmm. Wait, what are we doing? I'm gonna sneeze. I don't know where it is, but it's gonna scare you. So just warning. I feel it coming. Maybe. Oh, Jesus. Let's look at the season stuff. Or the weekly stuff while we wait. Brilliant ideal. Dance so long, we've seen that before. I like cycle. What's this for? It's for the whatchamacallit boots. I don't even have them. I don't know if you guys look at my uh, channel page, but I have put in a new background, which is uh, it's not an uh, official artwork that I have made or anybody's made for me. It's uh, it's a horn frog, which I'm trying to make kind of my mascot for my channel. Uh, made that it's not official so don't copyright me it's a I use the TCU horn frog head you know it's on what a horn lizard is or a horn frog you go in there and look it up so it's kind of a prototype concept or kind of thing for it you're welcome In the, uh, with the colors in my channel, which are uh, basically uh, uh, 
white, the navy, and red. Churns with gnashing teeth around Luna. Our enemies are drawn to our presence. The hive, the scorn, their numbers seem endless, but we're used to finding victory against the odds. So if you want to go check that out, look it out. Check, just comment. Uh, tell me what you think about it. It's more of a, like I said, it's not official. Um, but it's kind of like a prototype kind of thing. you come from? Move. Stop it! I'm sensitive to, 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 to the gunshot. Security re up. You know what to do, Guardian. Oh, 
Hello. Had time to jump down here, wasn't it? Maybe a bad time for you to spawn in, huh? Oh shit! Well, fuck. <laughs> bitch. Are you confident the war mind will be effective against the witness? Its last engagement. I don't know about pyramid ships, but Red can shoot down hive carriers just fine. If there's a war coming, we'll want Rasputin on our side. Of that, I have no doubts. Yeah, maybe he'll actually be useful this time. Power in the system, and its ability to strike across great distances without warning. But we no longer fear the war mind's wrath. I have seen how you have shaped it into something new, something better. I have to believe that is possible, and so I must not fear. Ooh.
What you got? We have no time for pleasantries, Osiris. I bring grim tidings. My Tachyons have been trying to make sense of Zivu Arath's tactics. Her armies are legion, yet she commits minimal forces to battle. Minimal forces? Every Wrathborn we cut down is replaced by two more. She could replace them tenfold, so why does she show restraint? Her worm feeds on warfare. The more violent the act, the greater the power she draws from it. Much like Sabathon's worm fed on guile and deceit. Do you mean to say that... This is not a war. It is a ritual. Her death singers weave their magic and prepare for a grand sacrifice. If so, our strategy remains unchanged. Retake the war sets and eradicate the Wrathborn. Just as Zivu Arath desires. The Warsats are immensely powerful. Their use would result in unparalleled destruction. She cares not which side is obliterated. Her worm will gorge itself on the carnage either way. She would turn her armies into blood sacrifices. And the Warsats would be the blade. Overwhelming force has proven to be the only effective tactic against the Hive. Without it, I... I do not know what to do. Then I suggest you think of something, and quickly. I will apprise your vanguard of these findings. This message. Um, Okie dokie. Steady. Big ass barrel. What the helmet you got? Is that a. I like that. Is that a. That's a. Shit. Curse of Osiris. Or Trials, my bad. Dump some of this out. Dump my load if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so, how's your day been? How? I don't got a wave, but hello. Oh, okay. Got saved? Warsats are a means to an end. Zivu Arath will bask in the destruction they bring and open the ascendant plane above Earth, as she did on Tora Bottle. It does not matter who pulls the trigger. 
We must cease our efforts to restore the war mind. No. We've worked too long and too hard to stop now. Rasputin is our best shot at winning this war. That is precisely my concern. He is a weapon made to be wielded. He is more than a weapon. He's our ally. And he will act in humanity's best interest. Are you certain? He has kept secrets in the past. Acted without counsel or consensus. So have you. Rasputin's made mistakes. But he's learned from them. The same as the rest of us. Then I propose we aim not for total victory, but a stalemate. Allow Rasputin to prevent Zivul Roth from claiming her prize, and refrain from using it himself. It's settled then. We hold the line. Hold the line. Where are we going? Disagreed on what constituted such threats, but not on the means to the end. On Mars, I developed the escalation protocol to combat the Hive. Ever increasing application of force in the face of rising opposition. Was I playing into Zivu Arath's hands even then? Has she always accounted for my methodologies? What purpose do I serve if my actions place humanity in danger? Am I even capable of developing a solution without mass destruction? This is a calculation I have never had to make. It will take time to run the necessary combat simulations. Follow the directions of the Vanguard and the Interim. I will contact you if and when I have determined our next objective. Another piece. Uh. All right. You gotta say whoever this is. Ikora was so bright, so full of promise. How she glowed. The light filled her. But it was her eyes that convinced me to take her as my apprentice. What did you see in them? Hunger. She was desperate to prove herself back then. I knew the feeling well. And you know it again now. When Ikora looks in my eyes, what do you think she sees? Everything that she always has. She pities me, Mara. As you and I have pitied others, those who hang on our every word, your cultists, my people, do not mistake Ikora's pity for disdain. If she pities you, it is out of love. I have no love for the cult of Osiris. No. Ask me what I see when I look into your eyes, Osiris. I will not, but you'll tell me just the same. I see 
a man who is afraid he'll never be able to live up to the expectations that other people have placed on him. A man so afraid to hurt or be hurt that he spent his very long, very accomplished life holding those same people at arm's length. This burden, this inheritance of guilt, it is Ikorus too. I never wanted this for her. As your mentors never wanted it for you. Uh, oh, Cyrus just kind of crying baby. Usually, well, basically, he always has been a prick. Seems like he always will be a prick. Even when he's not trying to be a prick, he still acts like a prick. What do you got behind you? Well, that's just a light. That one was short this week. Alright, let's look at the rest of the stuff. I think it's, uh... I think there's double XP in Gambit, but I'm not sure you might you have to look me up on that. What is this? Prison of Elders. And... Rift. Is, I guess that means it's one more week. I think. One or two. I like this armor. Got the wire on the glove and the electric. Energy surging through it. Yep, I think we've all been there. Mm hmm. That'll do it. What's this? Butter bark. That's not bad. I guess that's everything. Uh, I think so, anyways. What's this? No. Oh. Alright. Uh, thanks for watching. I think this week was six, and I think next week will be the last one, or the week after that, I'm not sure. But, uh, thanks for watching, like I said, and see you guys later.